Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. Yay! Today we are starting off not in my regular flat world, no. Today we are starting off underwater. Because after quite a lot of you have asked for it, I have finally made an underwater airlock door. So what I've done is I've made a little base just to showcase this design. As you just saw in that epic little video there, this is my little base I constructed. Now to get inside, all we have to do is come down here. As you can see, it's well concealed. Hello, Mr. Dolphin. Hello. <laughs> You're going to get stuck if you come in here. Flick the lever. As you see, this door closes. The water drains, so now we can breathe again. This door opens and we can go through. So nice and easy, then we can do whatever we want to do in our base. Then when we're done, we just press this button. Again, the water drains. We step through, and then this outer door opens. So when I was actually making this, I wanted it to be firstly very fast, because I don't know about you, but I find in bedrock there are too many drowned. Honestly, they're everywhere, especially if you're in survival, they seem to be popping up everywhere. <laughs> they get quite annoying. So I wanted to make it nice and fast. And thankfully, this design is. And also, on the way out, I wanted it so you can be in air as long as possible, because of course, you don't want to be drowning because that's not fun. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the redstone, but of course I can't do it here, so let's go into a flat world. Now taking a quick look at the redstone in all of its glory, as you can see, it's just fabulous. <laughs> it's only three deep, and it's really small. It's actually a really easy build to make as well, and it's quite cheap. It has quite a few observers here, but nothing too expensive. Of course it works the same, just flick the lever, and of course the lever works both ways if it's on or off. There we are. Leave again and you see it working again. So that's the redstone, so let's go on with this tutorial. So for this truly amazing build, you're going to need one regular piston, 16 sticky pistons, 6 observers, 7 repeaters, 4 redstone torches, 3 redstone blocks, 13 redstone dust, 3 comparators, 2 dispensers, 2 droppers, 1 rubbish block, now what I mean by that is a block you don't mind throwing away, 2 water buckets, 1 lever, 26 blocks for redstone to go on, and then however many blocks you need for your decoration. Okay, to start this build, place down 2 blocks like this. Now these 2 blocks here are the same blocks as these ones here, so this is our airlock chamber. Okay, so then what I want you to do is place a block here, then three more, one, two, three, move that block, and the same on this side, one, two, three, move that one, place a lever here, then a block here, whoops, and one here, then a temporary block here, and grab a dispenser, place it facing downward on the side of that block, then another one facing downward, move that block, crouch and place a slab here, and one here. After you've done that, place a temporary block out the back of this, have a sticky piston facing inward, and then have two more facing inward on top. One, two. And then do the same on this side. So temporary block, three sticky pistons, one, two, three, and then the same on this side. So temporary block, three pistons, one, two, three, three pistons here, one, two, three. And we can remove that block. Then we can grab some glass and place it like this. In front of our sticky pistons, Okay, then get some decoration blocks and place them like this. Four along and four along on this side. And then four on top of here. One, two, three, four. And four on this side. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we have a framework in place. What I want you to do is come behind this block with the, the lever on it and place a piston facing upward here. Just make sure that the piston does fire with the lever and you've got it in the right place. Then we'll grab an observer and place it on the side of that block facing upward, like that. So the dot should be facing up, and the face should be facing downward. Then a block here, and one here. A dropper facing to the right, and a dropper here facing toward the left. 
and remove that block. Coming away from this dropper toward this dispenser, we want a comparator. Then a torch here, and in these two dispensers we want water buckets. One, two. And then the last thing, in this dropper here, we want a rubbish block. So any block you don't mind throwing away, could be a diamond block if you're that rich, but I'm just going to use dirt. After you've done that, come to the top here and place a piece of redstone dust here. Then place a repeater going toward the left, and a block here, and one up. Move that block, block toward the back, and a repeater on that block on two tick delay. Then grab a sticky piston and face it this way, so going toward the left, uh, toward the right if you're looking at the front, and uh, then an observer here, so the dot should be going toward the front. Then place a sticky piston on the, off the side of that block, block of redstone here, block here and dust on top. Then come over to this torch again, and from the torch we want a repeater, into a block, sticky piston facing downward, then a, a block of redstone, block here with dust on it, and then lastly, stick this in here, and block of redstone like that. Okay, just to finish off the redstone, what I want you to do is place a block here, one down, move that block, come to the left, five, one, two, three, four, five, three bits of redstone dust, one, two, three, then a comparator going this way, and some dust here. Then place two blocks like this, one temporary block here and one up, move that block, have a comparator going toward that block, and dust here. So what we've done now, is made a pulse extender. Then a torch here, then a block here, one here, we can move that block. Block up like this, and we want a repeater here on two tick delay, going toward this block. Then dust here, block one up, move that. Torch, which should extend this piston. Block, which should extend this piston, and then dust on top, which should extend this piston. Then we want a block here, one more, and then one up. We want two repeaters, one and two, both on one tick. Dust here, block here, one up. Torch, block, dust. Okay, and now the, all these pistons should be extended. Now come to this side here, place a block here, one out. Dust on it like this, block here, and toward this redstone block. This redstone block, redstone block, block. What? We want a repeater on four tick delay. Then we want to place a block here underneath this dropper, and then a line of observers going up. One, two, three, four. So the last thing we have to do is just literally just to test it out. But before we do that, I'm just going to place some blocks around like this. So you can imagine this just being in the side of a, I don't know, cave wall underwater or something like that. So you can literally go right up to the edge of the redstone, that's fine. But of course, when you're making this, especially if you're building it in survival, just make sure that this area here is completely watertight, because although some of the components, like repeaters, don't get washed away with water, some others do. I think torches do, and definitely resident dust does, so just be careful with that, <laughs> of course. Then we can place some blocks down like this, and then we can fill it with water if we want, like this. Can imagine we have water all over here, like a, in an ocean. <laughs> Go crazy. There we are. So what we need to do now is just test it, so we can come in here. It's obviously filled with water. We flick the lever, outside door closes, the water gets drained off, and we can go out. Perfect. Now you may be wondering, well how do I put a button on the other side? Well basically all we have to do is to power this dropper here. Now if you power it directly with a repeater, for example if I run a repeater straight like that, that's not going to work. We're going to have to power the block underneath it, or a block like that. So you can have a block like this with a repeater on it, running with a button, or you can have the repeater going like this, but it's up to you. And then you can have maybe dust like that. Uh, let's grab a button. Like that. And then you see it'll work. Drains off, opens, go inside, water closes, perfect. <laughs> it's that simple. Just make sure when you're wiring up with a button that the repeater or the rest of dust goes into the block not the dropper. And this is into the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, of course, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one and I'll see you later. Bye.